This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a mosaic, which is to make a photo, uh, make it seem like it's made up of many smaller photos. So what we're going to do here is, with this photo here of this grandma, what we're going to do is make it seem like we're going to crop the image over here so it's mainly just uh, her face, just a really close a close up of her. And we're going to make it seem like th her image is actually made up of her two grandkids. So let's get to it. What we need to do, uh, first of all, is we need to crop the area uh, that we want to uh, to keep here for the photo. These things usually work best when it's a really close, uh, straight close-up of of someone's face. And uh, it works best if it's a square. So if we hold down Shift as we're cropping, then we can make sure that we are using the uh, the crop tool correctly here to crop a really close uh, crop of her face here. So we can do maybe a little bit of the neck. There we are, like so. So we have a square picture there. Okay, now what we want to do is uh, open up our other image here. And now we want to separate these two images into uh, to two separate images. So I'm going to, instead of using the crop tool, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the, uh, the selection tool here and do a selection, a square selection here for the boy. Move that around there, that's good. And I'm going to bring up my layers and just do a, a uh, control and J to copy that. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with the girl, holding down shift. There we are. And going back to that layer, whoops, going back to that layer and control and J. So we have our two separate images there. Okay. Now we want to uh, select the boy. We want to select that with a control and click to select the boy. We're going to copy that do a uh, control and N for new or just open up a new document and we want to paste that in there so we have the boy and we want to do the same for the girl so let's go back in here select the girl control and C to copy control and N to create a new document okay and paste so we have the two uh, images here okay now we want to uh, decide of these two images uh, how big they should be so that they actually realistically make it seem like they are creating this image here. And one, uh, one good way to, to tell is uh, if you can, the size of th those little images, those little blocks, each one of them, they should uh, occupy, each image should occupy half the size of the iris. So if you select your iris here with the shift to make sure that you're doing a square and you go to about half of the iris then you should see here in your info palette and if you don't have it go to uh, window and info here you should see that your selection here is 15 by 15, 15 pixels so that is the size of each of your images they could be a little bit smaller but too big it won't really look realistic so we want 15 or less so now that we know the size that the images should be we should go to our two images here this one go to image image size and resize those to 15 like so and the other one as well. Image size and resize that to 15. So we have the two of them. Now what we want to do is we want to put them in a pattern. We want to have the girl and another pattern of the girl here and then the boy and the boy. So we have uh, four images making up the image that's going to be <laughs> making up the other images, right? So we have four of these. So we're going to have to just double the size of things here because this is 15 adding another one will add another 15 so it's 30 by 30 so we're going to create a new document that is 30 pixels by 30 pixels make sure you are on pixels click OK and now we're going to go into our two images control A to copy control C control A to select all control C to copy we're gonna go into our image and paste that and we can actually zoom in a little bit here and move that in like so now what we can do is just duplicate this layer here and bring that down like so. So we have a pattern of two by two. And now we can go within the second with the girl here. Do the same thing, copy that, and then paste, move that over, and then copy it again and move that over again. Okay, so here we have our images. 
uh, that is going to be making up the grandma picture. Now here what you can do is if you want is you can uh, you can sharpen the image a little bit because we've had to reduce the image quite a lot. So you can do some experimenting if you want to sharpen the image. What I do here instead of sharpening each one individually of these layers, what we can do is just flatten the layer, flatten the whole image, then go into filter, sharpen and sharpen. And if it's sharpened too much, and it usually does for something that is very small, we can go to edit and fade immediately after we do sharpen. And then we can bring that dial that back so that we are adding just a little bit of sharpening to it so we get a little bit more details in the face okay now what we want to do is just make this into a black and white image so we're going to go into image mode and grayscale discard the image color and then change the mode back to RGB just to get rid of that color very quickly okay now we want to copy all of this so control C and now we want to define this now that we have all this selected we want to define this as a pattern and the way that we do this is by going to edit and uh, show menu items if you don't have that available we want edit and define pattern there we are now we want to name this perhaps kids for example okay and we're done with this image now we can go back into the uh, the grandma picture here we can create a new layer and in this new layer we can fill that in but we want to fill it in with that pattern right so we want to go to edit fill and here we want to use a pattern and we want to use a custom pattern and the last one is usually the one you just created for the kids you want to fill it in normally click OK and we have the kids here now for the final step all we need to do is change the blending mode to overlay right here and we have our final touch so we have the kids making up the picture of the grandma look at that so seen from afar it's the uh, you know it's the grandma and seeing from up close, it's the kids. So there you are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.